Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and every week I bring you free sex advice and sex talk aimed at breaking down the shame and stigma that we have around sex. And today I want to talk to you about how to cure premature ejaculation. Welcome to my new set for today. This is very bouncy. <laughs> I got this beautiful pink bean bag and I like it because it's pink and it's bouncy. <laughs> but I think it potentially could be a little bit noisy because of all the beans. Let me know if you don't like it and you want me to go back to my old set. With no further ado, let's get started. Here are my top three hacks for curing premature ejaculation. Despite what society has tried to convince us that premature ejaculation is this medical condition that we need to treat with drugs and numbing creams, the truth is it's actually just a simple case of conditioning. And what I mean by that is it's a learned behavior. Most men that have issues with ejaculating too early also ejaculate very early when they masturbate and masturbation is something that we train our bodies to do just like you train your body to orgasm efficiently you can train your body to orgasm slowly at more of a delay and the way you do that is through simple good old-fashioned practice and repetition so practice it in your own time when you're not with your partner because it's going to be a pressure-free stress-free environment when you're masturbating what i want you to do is practice the technique of edging and edging is simply delaying your orgasm each time you get close. So masturbate just as you normally do, whatever normally works for you. And when you feel yourself getting close to the point of ejaculating, I want you to completely stop. Totally remove your hands from your penis. Don't touch your body. If you've got some porn on, then turn off the porn and just stop and just breathe deeply for around 30 seconds. Then you can return back to masturbating. The more times you are, you are able to do that, the more you're going to essentially train your body and send a new message to your brain to hold off ejaculating so quickly because that's all it is. It's a neural pathway that we've created in our brain. I know I'm making it sound so wanky and clinical, but that's what it is. And the great thing about neural pathways is we know now there's this thing called neural plasticity. And what it means is we can literally reconfigure our brain the same way as we do a computer. So if your brain is currently configured to come really fast, you can reconfigure it to wait to come and I certainly hope the reason that you're watching this channel is because you want to please your woman more in bed and we know from the research that most women take at least 20 minutes to reach orgasm during partnered sex so if you want to please her then you need to be delaying your orgasm for as long as possible at least until she's reached her orgasm and the second part of retraining yourself is to start to train your pelvic floor muscle now men and women have pelvic floor muscles and most women practice pelvic floor exercises quite regularly to keep our own pelvic floor muscles in shape matter of fact I'm practicing mine right now <laughs> but it is something that you can practice when you're not turned on you don't need to have an erection you don't need to be in the middle of sex you can literally practice it while you're sitting in the car at a set, set of traffic lights. You can practice it while you're waiting in line at the supermarket. Same muscle that controls your ejaculation also controls your flow of urine. So to find your pelvic floor muscle, all you need to do next time you use the restroom is to try to consciously stop your stream of urine by clenching that muscle then restart it again. Practice that a few times, start practicing that every time you go to the bathroom as a kind of challenge to yourself. That same technique can be applied to ejaculation. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult because there's arousal involved, but it can definitely be applied. So what you can do once you've found that muscle is you don't need to practice while you're urinating anymore. You can practice just while you're sitting on the couch watching some TV. Practice finding that muscle and clenching it. Clench it, hold it just for a second. And then after a week or two, see if you can hold it for two seconds or three seconds. In time, when you're having sex and you feel like you're going to ejaculate, 
you'll be able to hold that muscle and hold back your ejaculation just in the same way that you would hold back your pee. So my tip number two is to balance out your diet to include more zinc and magnesium. These two supplements are really important for men in balancing out testosterone levels. And we know that when your testosterone levels are really healthy, it's definitely easier for the majority of men to control their erection and their orgasm and ejaculation. So try getting more zinc and magnesium in your diet. You're going to find it in things like oysters, like shellfish, like pumpkin seeds. Um, in green, dark green leafy vegetables. You can also just go to your local pharmacy and grab a supplement or go online and grab a supplement. You don't need to take high doses, just take the recommended amount of zinc and magnesium every day. It's going to make a really great difference over time. Over a few weeks, it's not gonna be an instant fix to your male hormone levels. And your male hormone levels keep everything in control and they're also going to help with premature ejaculation. This is something that I don't recommend using in the long run, but it's something that you can use as needed, especially when you're starting out and you're still beginning to retrain your brain. And that is the squeeze technique. And it might be something that you've already tried just instinctively. And it's when you feel like you are just about to ejaculate grab the tip of your penis and like squeeze it really tight. So you're just grabbing the head, essentially. You can get your partner to grab it or you can grab it, it doesn't really matter. But by grabbing it really tight, what you're gonna do is basically it will push the blood flow back down out of the penis and it can potentially also make your erection go down a little bit and help with that over excitement. So those are my tips for a premature ejaculation. The most important one is retraining the brain. And the thing that I hope you take away from this video is the fact that if you have issues with ejaculating much more quickly than you would like to, you're not broken. You don't have a medical issue. You don't need to go and spend money on pills and creams. In fact, I strongly recommend against that stuff because most of it has terrible side effects. All it is, is a brain training issue. Just like we can accidentally train ourselves to do an exercise the wrong way in the gym and then you realize, oh, you've been doing the technique wrong and it takes a while to relearn the correct way. It's the exact same thing with our sex organs. You can retrain yourself to delay your ejaculation. Just be patient and practice as often as possible. So let me know, did these tips work for you? Have you tried tips like these or do you have other tips that you would recommend to the other people watching today? Comment down below to let me know and give this video a like if you found it helpful and you'd like to see more videos on lasting longer in bed because I have lots more techniques for how you can stay going long into the night to please your woman. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it's your subscriptions that keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you guys free sex advice every single week. All right, guys, until next time, I will see you later. Mwah.